Find out how this guy became a millionaire twice in his lifetime on this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. Albert Harrington Warner was born in 1842 near Syracuse, New York, in a town named Warner's, which was actually named after his grandfather, who moved there in 1807 from Massachusetts. In 1870, about the age of 28, Warner moved to Rochester and entered into the first business that would make him a millionaire, selling fireproof and burglar-proof safes. The demand for safes had escalated dramatically after the discovery of oil in western Pennsylvania, and in 12 years he had sold over 70,000 safes and made over $15 million. Today that would be over $250 million. In 1884, he sold the safe business to Mosler, Bauman and Company of Rochester, New York. Warner used a portion of the wealth that he accumulated from the safe business to purchase the formula for a patent medicine from a Dr. Charles Craig of Rochester. When Warner was about 36 years old, he had developed a severe case of Bright's disease, which is a kidney disease. His doctors didn't expect him to live another year. While he was close to death, Warner used a vegetable concoction sold by Dr. Craig and he was restored to health. He was so impressed by Dr. Craig's original kidney cure that he purchased the formula and the rights to the product and in 1879 introduced Warner Safe Kidney and Liver Cure. Although Warner's early publications praised Dr. Craig's tonic as a revelation, references to Dr. Craig soon disappeared from Warner's advertising and ultimately the two end up in court in 1882 when Dr. Craig and his son started manufacturing the same tonic that he sold to Warner. The courts decided that Dr. Craig's going to have to stop making and selling the product. He did admit that it was the same formula and that he was selling the product for less money. He was ordered to pay all court costs. Unfortunately, Dr. Craig and his son eventually went bankrupt. A few years later, in 1884, Warner built the largest and most complete medicine laboratory in the world, built of wrought iron and brick. It was completely fireproof, and it cost a half a million dollars. It was eight stories high, and it was located on St. Paul Street in Rochester. The H.H. Warner Building was one of the first buildings to have electricity in Rochester. During the late 19th century, it was a common sight to see a horse and buggy driver carrying sightseers down St. Paul Street during the evening to view the lights on in the building, which at the time was quite a sight to see. It's still standing, and it's called the H.H. H. Warner Lofts, and it's an apartment complex. In addition to his kidney and liver cure, Warner also introduced several other tonics, such as Safe Nervine, Safe Diabetes Cure, Safe Tonic Bitters, and many others. Warner's patent medicine products appeared in unique bottles which featured an embossed safe on the front. This drew upon his earlier business selling safes and it implied to his potential customers that his products pose no risk. Having made millions on his second business in patent medicine, Warner apparently embarked on a few other endeavors, most notably his sponsorship of the Warner Observatory in Rochester. Warner later invested in a few risky investments, he lost some money, and eventually he sold his company to a group of investors in Rochester who continued to operate under Warner Safe Remedies Company. I wasn't able to find much else after this point, so I'm not sure how long they stay in business. According to the history of the city of Rochester, Warner was a very generous man, giving abundantly, and he had often said that every dollar given away properly had come back to him fourfold. He did not give for the fame of it, and when he worked, he worked with extraordinary energy. He enjoyed fishing, hunting, and yachting. He owned a yacht called the Siesta on which he spent several weeks a year. He owned a dog kennel as well as horse stables. He owned a mansion on the corner of Goodman Street and East Avenue in Rochester, which when I looked it up, there are a few businesses there, including the Rochester Museum, but I'm not sure if any of those buildings are his mansion. Maybe some locals from the area can tell us in the comments. Anyways, Warner died in January 1923 at age 81. So that's the history of the man behind it all, but what about the medicine itself? What was in it? Well, a few of the ingredients, such as bugleweed and liverwort, did have some medicinal value, but other ingredients didn't. In fact, some of the ingredients could even cause poisoning or vomiting. 
Alcohol seems to be an ingredient found in most tonics from this time period, and even though it doesn't have medicinal value, I guess it helped calm symptoms. So, there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this bottle's history, and there are many more to come. Thank you for watching.